Hi guys, so I decided to go ahead and do a vlog today. We are just going to do like a quick day in my life vlog, right? Because I haven't done a video in a very long time. So yeah. <clears throat> so we are currently heading to we are currently heading to BJ's. Um Ryan is over here struggling with a that I'm not used Starbucks to. coffee. Um, mind you, we are not Starbucks people, but I got a gift card from the um, from a doctor that I was working with from my prior job on Nurses Week. I think it was Nurses Week, yeah. So she had gave me this gift card for Starbucks. Mind you, everybody that um, worked in my like department that. worked well with Starbucks. Um, but yeah. yeah. We are heading to BJ's today um, to get some shopping done. Um, I didn't want to take my sister and Azalea because that was going to be a lot of chaos because they're going to see everything. I want to buy everything. And that is not the goal for today. We're not overspending on our budget. So instead of carrying them and being like, no, 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 no. Um, I'm going to be like, let's just go early. Azalea is still in bed. Unique is still in bed. Um, so we're just going to go there early and get those stuff that is needed and then head back home. But before we go home, we're going to stop at the post office to see all the stuff I need to get to renew Azalea's um, passport because she is going to be turning five. Woo! So we have to renew our passport um, so she can still be able to travel and stuff like that so yeah uh and i think that's it that's it uh let's start our journey <laughs> So I had to stop recording because this lady came up and she was like, look here, you guys need to stock up on gas. If you realize gas has gone up by 30 cents. So I go to work like between three and four o'clock in the morning and I was looking at the gas station and I was like, oh, when I leave work, I'm going to get some gas because gas was 308. When I left work around seven, 730, gas went up to 349 so from 308 to 349 so we were like oh my god so we're gonna just um take her tip for the day and we're going to stock up on some gas so guys he tends to buy a lot of pastries and a lot of sweet stuff look at that donut and cake now you see how you maga let me try that let me try that. Because everything coming is like that one less something. Yeah, but remember, it looked like they didn't create the space to move the fridge. So, guys, the fridge was normally like right on the left where you see those, uh, what it was, croutons. So, on the left, going straight down, there was all fridge. So, now they moved the fridge over to that side. So, it created this big space. So I'm kind of seeing what they did. So when they had the space over on the other side, it was a very small space. And people tend to lick up in each other or hit up in each other. My Jamaican accent, lick up, hit up in each other when they were going down the aisle. Basically, they have doubled this area. So the space is there for you to walk through the aisles without hitting up in people or hindering people when you're taking up um, stuff from the refrigerator so that's nice 
We came to BJ's a couple of weeks ago and we bought a few stuff but totally forgot about like my little sister and the fact that we changed our diet to more a pescatarian diet again and um, well I am doing it again Ryan's first time doing it but change our diet to a pescatarian diet so we kind of have to try to come back and kind of buy some stuff for my little sister so she can have things that she eats because not everything that we eat she's going to be eating so yeah that is why because most times we go like six weeks at a time um, coming to BJ so don't come like every week because it's not like a supermarket where you every just go week. week it's not like a supermarket where you go every week go like you don't go six you yeah, have people who go to the supermarket. Bye. Once a month we come to this place or one day. Well, this is not like a regular supermarket like Publix. So for some reason, I forgot to bring our um, coupon book and then also my app is not working. So I'm not able to basically go into my app and select my coupon. So I'm going to go to the front and hopefully they have a full-fledged coupon book. So I got the coupon book however some of the items or most of the items weren't on it so i tried to call bj customer service which i did get and they gave me access to my account so i had access to more coupons so yeah i was really happy with that so we just finished shopping some of these things are going to last us for over two months right um because i don't think unique is going to use all of this and also Ryan and I don't use so many things. So what we're going to do now, we're packing out the packing out the stuff. I am packing out the things right now and you are standing making a video. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. I can't manage. <laughs> still have to shop for a few things but not here not here and i think every time i come at bj's we always buy things i'm in a need and guess what we still have to go to Publix. <laughs> <laughs> but i just still want to go to Publix. yeah, yeah. I know where it's up. And it is now 9.57. It's, it's, it's not about the time, it's the amount of money we just spent. I still have to go somewhere else to buy my food. You're going to lock it on my head? So are you going to stand there and watch me? Whatever. So, um, not a bad, not a bad grocery shopping day. Um, but yeah, I am shocked to still see ice. In my Starbucks. Oh God! I got the mango, mango. What is mango dragon fruit lemonade? And Ryan got a latte. First, I'm drinking this from uh, from Starbucks. Yeah. So. Mm -mm 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 -mm. But, yeah, my foot upon a brick. Yeah, so it's not hot outside? Yeah, yeah, hmm? drink drink it something. Drink it something. Cause I sip your sip that and that not hot. Am I a coffee person? Yeah, not a coffee person, exactly but drink it so. something, man. You're just a sip sip. In just a sip sip be sitting. I want to see you feel so. Okay. Let's go. So, we had come up with a financial plan that we are just paying each other every pay period. I get $300 and Ryan get $300, right? And then all of the, the money that we get paid goes into one account. And that is how we've been doing it for, well, a couple months now? From last year. Really. From last year, sorry. From last year. So, that's how we've been doing it. So, I have been very let me say pleasuring myself financially with certain things so like 
facials getting massages doing my nails buying face products and all of that right and I was thinking Ryan was doing the same because him would have like buy a lot of Clarks Look and buy a Clarks and cologne. Uh, uh, he buy a lot of Clarks and cologne and those things add up over time. But the what I forgot is that I was doing things monthly, like every month I was doing something to please myself, right? Um, and Ryan was doing it like when things are on sale. Yes, who, so who, the other who day one, who bike, like, shut up so anyways I look at glance over I it. glanced over on Ryan's account the other day and I was amazed because you see me buy things and me think, buy buy things, thing, like, and me think that, okay he no have as much money you know like how me would have not as much money in my personal savings well, not necessarily savings. It's considered like a spending account. It's for you. Personal so it's stuff. it's your personal stuff, what you want. Um, This man, they year, I might up the thing. Oh, my God. Because it's like, I know me look and see. And then he sees my account and he's like, oh, my, oh my gosh. I feel so bad. I need he to feel buy bad. So now he start buying things to me. <laughs> So we have so we there. I thought about one holder we were planning to buy. I was planning to buy one as well because the ones that are on the glass and stuff tend to break off. So now he's like, oh, I was looking at two because you can't buy them. You can't buy them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Because I cannot afford it. Yeah. So yeah. now we feel bad and he might go buy it for me. Yeah, and not only that. I have to take you guys out for dinner on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> so I might take the family out for dinner and then he might go buy me um the <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> and the thing is that me things that you that use the money I like do the same thing when me I do like go get massage like from work necessary. and not because necessary. if thing, these things are not necessary well, like well, I, I was okay. shook. I was shook. I was shook it. And and remember, I trim go to the barber like once every three weeks. And I now, know you have me a trim you. No, I am considering to go to the barber once per month. Cause guess what? We have a little barber here <laughs> who has who have been trimming me for what well, a couple months now. Like just the back, months. cause I can't do the back. Yeah. Couple months now, me yeah. trim him. I know the other I shave day, me, the back and everything. Me just right? line up the back, but now me upgraded to now taking off some of the hair. Taking off the top. You see, ladies, when I get married, act like I can't do nothing because they keep upgrading you to doing more and more duties. So your duties upgraded from just lining up the back, and you can't go just go live your best life to now. Guess what? I just save thirty dollars every two weeks. So that I have more money for going in accounts. You see that? Yeah, but no. Yeah, really. said, yeah. Look where in that bush. Really. Look at bush. Look at bush. Thirty dollars not really add up like that. You know? Okay. Mm -hmm. Just mention that you also use your personal accounts to buy. Your personal account to buy things for the house. Which yeah, that's have, true. Yeah, I should true. have not been doing that. So yeah. I was using my personal account to like buy things to like it's fix up the house and stuff. Because it's have easier. That card, yeah. So you just buy things. Yeah, so. yeah. All right, guys. I'm going to go fill up gas and we're going to head to Publix because as I'm supposed to wake up, I know. So we are trying to get these because you know hurricane season is upon us and we need to make sure that we have gas. Not that the, the gas jumping is a big thing, yes, but get remember I said gas gorging or something like that is going to be happening yeah, soon. Um, gas, no gas. gas, yeah. So we're trying to at least Yeah, so at least we will have gas for each vehicle. So Ryan and I are in the vehicle having a full-blown conversation and drive past Publix. Like, conversation sweet or what? Conversation sweet. We literally drive past the supermarket where we need to go. I go and I go straight home to you know, straight home. And then guess what? We have to come back on the road on Saturday 
<laughs> Alright, so we're in Publix now. Uh, we're buying chickpeas. But I said chickpeas up here, so but it's a Trini chickpea curry. No, that's that I already love yeah, it. Okay. So pinto beans, pork and beans, beans, meat beans, yams. Uh, which brand did it buy? Yeah, feature peas. Uh, Alright guys, that's, there's not much to vlog right now, but we are currently in Publix and we are just grabbing um, some beans <coughs> to substitute when we are not eating seafood. So, yeah. So, Ryan grabbing the chickpeas. Well, beans. I don't see chickpeas yet. And I'm going to look for the meatballs. So, I finally found the meatballs. And it's like a ready to cook thing. And it will like lessen the time that you need have to prepare it for her and Azalea lunch. So this is the one that I'm buying. There it is. And they have other things in here, but yeah, I'm just gonna buy this one. So I'm currently looking at ice cream, so of what I can buy for Azalea. But I don't want to buy this big thing because the fridge is already extremely full. So I'm going to go ahead and get like one of the Briars container like right here. So I'm just going to get one of those for her and she likes vanilla so I'm trying to get something mixed with vanilla or you know what let me stay safe and just buy the vanilla butter pecan is nice I might buy a butter pecan and a vanilla for her yeah that's what I'm going to get butter pecan and vanilla I've never tried out this brand, Publix Premium. I never tried out that brand before, so we're going to figure out how that tastes. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So I'm getting butter pecan and the vanilla. And guys, I love these slippers. My mom sells them at her shop in Craft Market. Um, these are all I wear, really, when I'm going on the road. I'm not gonna say just when I'm going on the road. Sometimes I actually wear them when I'm going out because they're very comfortable. They're flat on. I have kind of a flat feet. I don't have an arch, so very very comfortable. But anyways, <laughs> my mind just went to that. So I'm gonna grab two of these and yeah, let's go find Ryan. Oh, he okay. is coming. that it's time to unpack we are just stacking up the groceries on the countertop before I go into the pantry now Ryan is trying to explain to Unique about making the meatballs and I am just having a mini anxiety attack <laughs> because everything is kind of out of place like Azalea toys are everywhere and it's giving me like <gasps> Because I'm so used to no clutter and now Azalea has like everything thrown down and it's like it's so difficult to keep it clean because one not clean but organized because once I pick them up they are back inside of the living room send help <laughs> because we have more stuff now in the pantry we have to start reorganizing and that was not the plan for the day but I have to do this so we don't overshop because we need to be more organized because things can hide behind things and then you end up buying more things that you don't need. So we have to reorganize the whole pantry right now to kind of make sure things are not hidden. That is what I want. So like the things that you use mostly, you just come in here and you see panel shelf here, you grab and go. Things where we're not going to really use right now, they're right down here. So i going to organize this side a little bit better. I'm mean, going to take out nothing and put in another container. So all of the empty containers, I'm mean, just going to take them put aside. Because I'm realizing it work too well with certain containers. Like here we use container for flour and rice and stuff. 
But for the most part, I'm going to just um, move out these empty containers. One, of, one of them, we supposed to put the ice where? Then take it up now, Elvin. You can't take it up. I can't take it up. All right, so Ryan got stolen away by Azalea. Um, but for the most part, I just need stuff that we're not going to be using as often on that shelf. I remove a lot of bags and stuff. I thought you were crazy talking to yourself. Go on by your business. <laughs> but anyways, I talk to myself all the time. You know this. That not really sound good enough. Yeah, look, feel better, Azzy. Look, feel better now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put my tea stuff in our next section because no. oh, yeah. this yeah. is a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, okay. All right, let me get back to what I made I had to remove one of the shelves from out of the fridge to create more space. I did this a couple weeks ago because it was like the, f the fridge kind of built like you're supposed to have like a container, 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 put them on shelves for it to look aesthetically pleasing. But we make our own juice, we make our own stuff, so we use big jugs and big bottles. And we don't know why the fridge didn't come like in our bill. Like one time when my grandma usually have a fridge, it did have space. But remove one of the shelf them and that create that space. So it kind of flexible. You can take out some of your stuff them out of it and create that space. If you make a lot of stuff or your meal prep fast, we start meal prepping really good now. So that is helping. So yeah. And just like that, I have just pretty much organized it how I want it. Is this my dream Pinterest um, organizing skills? No, nope, it is not. It is far from it. But at least everything has a place and we don't have to come in here and looking like chaos. So we can come in, we see everything that is needed. So I have my little tea area here with all my teas and Ryan teas and stuff and then just some quick grab juice and she also have juice in the fridge azalea height so all the snacks is basically where she can just come in and grab something if she feel for something and then the tea area is right here where we can grab something and then bread is eye level it's not over it's not too high and then these are all the things that ryan used when he cooks and when he walks through the door this is me the way the door opens is where i'm standing so all of the stuff that ryan need is right in front of him when he opened the door for easy access he just come in grab these or grab the flow and stuff i'm going to take this up but he everything that he uses to cook is going to be directly in front of him for easy access so he just comes in grab what he wants he sees it really quickly and makes it efficient so that is what I wanted. This is how the pantry is set up for quick, easy access for everyone. So yeah. Now onto my second duty. Well, third or fourth or fifth. Okay, I stopped counting. But onto this duty, I am now giving Ryan a haircut outside. Mm -hmm. You need to um, show me. You said nothing wrong with the eye to eye. You probably don't have a You said nothing me always I use. Well, I guess I'm going to be carrying my video. Basically, the day didn't go how I had intended it to go. Like, there were so many things that I wanted to do at home that I did not get to do. So now I'm in the office and trying to organize my days for the rest of the summer because um, there's a few theme parks I need to go. I want to go um, with Azalea and Unique. Um, and also, I need to 
<clears throat> maximize the days that I'm off as it relates to setting up interviews and setting up just podcasts, um, episodes. If either it's by myself or with Ryan or with one of my friends as guests, I'm trying to organize those for the rest of um, the year. Um, but yeah, so we ended up going to the clerk of court. Um, basically, I was going to call in, but my spirit was like, mm -mm, don't call, show up, but show up with all of the documents them, that you're going to need. So I was like, okay, you know, I'm going to show up with all of the documents that women need and still ask the question. If I don't get through, I don't get through because the appointment that I see on the website was actually August 17 and they have backlog. They have backlog on... Um, the processing time for passports right now so you may not even if you pay for expedition if you expedite it it does not mean that it is going to come in the um time in the time that you want it to come through so i expedited it and it cost us one seventy nine thirty five for everything one seventy nine thirty five for the passports and the processing and then $75 to expedite it right and then we had to take Azalea picture there because although we took pictures they were shadowy and stuff but it's good that they have the service there that they take your pictures for you so we're fingers crossed her passport comes through in time um so she can leave in time um but yeah it worked out perfectly didn't have to do a inter didn't have to do an appointment or anything we just walked in fill out the form inside the office fill out the form online inside the office they reviewed it printed that 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 and they're overnighting it to the um passport place or whatever but yeah so that is how my day went grocery shopping Packing out, reorganizing my pantry for a little bit. Then coming online to research, oh, how long it's going to take if I expedite the passport. I saw that it was on backlog. Found out that we can do it at clerk of court, clerk of court, which was like 23 minutes away. Zoops with Azela in a yard closed for good year because it closed 4 o'clock and I did bow after 12, going towards 1 o'clock. I found out all of this. I remember I'm just going there to ask question. Had all the documents, ended up just doing it right then and there. So work out, work out. And then shave Ryan, line up Ryan. And now I'm in the office to set up the days for the rest of the summer. You must be asking me what I'm looking at. I'm just looking at the rain. It has been rainy and windy all for the last couple of days so yeah but i like it i love the rain we need the rain the place is way too hot but i'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here it was a very productive day even though it didn't work out how i wanted to work it out but things got done that i did not think i was going to get done today basically but yeah i hope you're having a great day and even if you're not having a great day, look at the bad things or the things that are not going in your favor as lessons. And if you're having a great day, enjoy in it, bask in it. Because sadly, the world is very rough right now. And it's not, you know, a lot of us are not in our happy phase. For me, I was in a happy phase for a little bit a couple months ago. But now I'm kind of in my um, sad phase and most of that sadness is just the fact that I have to work or the work I am doing, although I love it, um, sometimes the people in it can really put a damper on you and that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at in life but as I said, every, as I've been telling my friends, I'm like, this year is the 
the only debt we're supposed to have is mortgage only so I'm looking at the end goal I'm looking at the end goal mortgage only end goal period mortgage only that is all that is all the debt we need in life right now and then afterwards we can focus on taking on the mortgage but yeah I'm going to go ahead and end. I'm going to go ahead and end this video have a wonderful week a wonderful day a wonderful month and a wonderful year Bye.